Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root your Samsung Epic Touch 4G. So, um, as you can see, this isn't a Samsung Epic Touch 4G, it's a Samsung Epic 4G. Um, I don't, I haven't have been able to get my hands on an Epic Touch 4G yet, so I can't really exactly show you that it's rooted, but I can show you the exact process and exactly what you need to go through to root your device. So, uh, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and uh, I guess what you're going to first need to do is power off your Epic Touch. So go ahead and just power off your phone. Just make sure it's shut off initially. And then once it's shut off, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum. Um, as you can see, pre-rooted kernel root your Epic Touch here. Uh, go ahead and scroll down. Big thanks to Tanum and Android Creative Syndicate for uh, this root uh, access. Um, you're going to need to download a few things. If you don't already, you're going to need uh, keys on your PC. So click on this link. Um, it'll take you to this website. Uh, basically, it's going to install the drivers for your phone. So click on whether you're on Windows or a Mac. Download keys. So download it and install it. Make sure it's on your PC. And once you have that installed, you're going to need to download Odin which is the tool used to flash things to your phone. Uh, click on it here and then click and download the PIT file here as well. So download these two files. Also scroll down and click on this download right here. Just a heads up that uh, this root process is going to break your Wi-Fi. So however Wi-Fi is broken. So just a heads up if you do need Wi-Fi that uh, don't do this method your 3g and 4g are going to work fine but it's just wi-fi that's broken right now with this method it's being worked on though uh hopefully we'll be have it uh with wi-fi working as well sometime very soon so just a heads up that if you do need wi-fi don't don't follow this method but if you it doesn't matter to you go ahead and download this as well so click on download it's gonna uh look like a couple things right here it's you're going to have the tar file which is et4g rootish3.tar which is the tar file to root your phone you're going to have the pit file epic 4g touch pit and you're going to have odin 3 version 1.85 as well so once you have all three of those downloaded as well as uh as keys on your pc you're going to need to go to the download i'm going to go ahead and make a folder on my uh desktop called touch odin so as you can see i made this folder right here and as you can see, I have the three files right here, Odin, TouchPIT, and the, the tar file. So right now I'm going to put the tar file, ET4G tar file, just not touching it, just click and drag it over to my Touch Odin folder. So make sure that's in that folder. And now um, you're going to need WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip, anything to extract the zip file. Double click on the Odin zip. And I'm actually going to need to just click on this Odin 3 version 1.85 and drag it over to my Touch Odin right here. So make sure that that's in there. I already have it in there, but I'm just going to go ahead and just hit don't move just because it's already in there. Uh, but once that Odin 3 version 1.85.exe is in there, I'm going to need to go to my PIT and double click on that. As you can see, it open, it's got a file inside. I'm going to click and drag that to my Touch Odin folder as well. That's on my desktop. So now um, I'm going to double click and open up this folder. As you can see, as long as you have Odin 3 version 1.85, you're going to need the PIT file and the TAR file as well. Those three files in this folder. Uh, once you have that, you are actually good to go. So double click on Odin 3 version 1.85, hit yes. It's going to open Odin for you. This is uh, what Odin looks like. It says Epic 4G since this is used for the Epic 4G as well. Uh, just disregard that. It works on the Epic Touch as well. Um, so now what you're going to need to do is only make sure auto reboot is checked over here. Do not check anything else but auto reboot over here. Um, what you're going to need to do is click on the PIT button right here. Click on it and then uh, obviously it takes you to the, uh, you need to navigate to your Touch Odin folder that's on your desktop. And then double click on Epic 4G Touch PIT. Double click on that so that's right there as you can see in the PIT folder. And now uh, check the PDA box. Just make sure that's checked. Click on PDA. Take you to the Touch Odin folder and then double click on the ET4G Rootish3.tar. Double click on that as well. As you can see it's going to be right there in PDA and make sure it's checked. So once you have that Odin's all set to go. Once you have uh, only just a heads up though. When you put this PDA thing right here, it checks repartition. You don't want this. Uncheck it right here. You do not want repartition checked. So make sure only auto reboot is checked. That's a pretty key thing right there. 
So uh, once it's set up, only auto reboot checked, you have the PIT file, you got the tar file in there. Your Odin is good to go. Now you're gonna need to go to your Epic Touch 4G. As you can see, mine's Epic 4G. But what you're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need to go into Odin mode. So to do this, you uh, are gonna need to press a volume down and the home button and the power button at the same time. Press and hold those three. So uh, to do this, uh, as you can see, well, to get into download mode on the Epic, you press and hold the one button on the keyboard and power button. It's just different on the Epic Touch since there's no keyboard. So volume down home button and power button at the same time press and hold those it's actually going to take you to a screen that looks like this uh, right here warning uh, it's custom OS can cause critical problems yada 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 uh, big thanks to my man John Corleone for sending me these pictures um, Obviously, this is a picture of his Epic Touch 4G. Uh, it says volume up to continue, volume down to cancel, and restart the phone. So press volume up, and it's going to take you to this page right here. As you can see, it says downloading. Do not turn off target. Up here, this menu looks like uh, Odin mode, product name, yada, 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 custom binary download, current binary. Just a heads up what this is going to, what your screen is going to look like when you get into download mode. So as you can see, it says downloading, um, do not turn off target. So just a heads up, that's what download mode is going to look like on your Epic Touch. Um, on the Epic 4G, download mode looks like this. Your phone's not going to look like this since download mode doesn't look like that. But uh, once you hit, once you are in download, once you're in Odin mode, uh, and and uh, Odin's ready to go, you can go ahead and plug in your phone into your computer. So go ahead and just plug in your Epic Touch into your PC, like so. And once you plug it in, it's actually going to show up in a yellow box right here under IDCOM. It's going to say COM and then a number. Disregard whatever number it is. It doesn't matter what the number says. Uh, just make sure it says COM and then it has the yellow box just to ensure that your phone is recognized by Odin. But as I said, once it has auto reboot checked, once you have the PIT, once you have the PDA box checked and the TAR in there, go ahead and hit start. So click on start. I'm not going to hit start, obviously, since it's my... Epic 4G is plugged in. It's not my Epic Touch. It's not an Epic Touch. So uh, click start. It's going to run through the process. And uh, once it's done, it should say it should be a green box. Should say success, something like that. And uh, it'll give you how long it took. And it should reboot your phone once it's completed. And once you uh, boot back up, you should have root access, and you should be good to go. So there, there you have it. Uh, if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Leave a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video, as I said. And you feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like the video.